The intersect operator. We just learned that the union and union all operators allow us to combine the results of two queries. If the two queries were in this diagram here, it would show us the results like this. It would show the blue and the green circles, as well as the orange section in the middle. However, what if we want to see only records that appear in both queries, so the orange section in the middle? So what if we want to see the section in the middle, where it appears in both queries? We can do this using intersect. Intersect works in a similar way to union and union all. It's a keyword that goes in the middle of two queries. But, instead of combining the two queries and giving us the results of both, it will look at the two queries and give us the results of records that exist in both queries. In this case, it will show the orange section in the middle of the two queries there. Let's have a look at an example. Let's say query A has the records 1, 2, 3 and 4. Query B has the records 2, 4, 6, 8 and 9. If you were to use a union, it would give us the results of 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8 and 9, which are all the values removing the duplicates. A union all would give 1, 2, 2, 3, 4, 4, 6, 8, 9, which is all the records, leaving the duplicates there. An intersect would give us 2 and 4. It only shows 2 and 4 because they're the only values that exist in both queries. Let's see a real query that uses intersect. Let's find out the names that exist in both the customer table and the employee table. This query shows us the names in the employee table. This query will show us the names in the customer table. Now, let's use the intersect keyword. We add the first query and remove that semicolon. Then we put in the word intersect. It doesn't need to be in capital letters, but because it's an SQL keyword, I'll put it in capital letters to be consistent and make it easy to read. After intersect, we write our second query. Then we run our query. We can see only records that exist in both tables. You can see there are three records here. Now if you remember, when we looked at the union and union all operators, the union query removed duplicates and had 207 records and the union all query didn't remove duplicates and had 207 results. The difference was three. These are the three records that were removed. If we go back to the first query, we can run that. We can run it easily by selecting the SQL that matches the query and clicking on the play button. We would see the name of Alice Perry in this list. We can see it here. Now let's run the second query by selecting it and clicking on the play button. We can also see Alice Perry in this list. So that's how you use the intersect query. It's not something I've used very often, but it depends on your database structure. You may need to use different result sets like this, and if so, the intersect operator can be useful.